and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucky Victor. That's going to be our next deck. We got a Shirima, Piltover, and Zahn deck where we're going to be combining Victor as our one champion with Lucky Finds. We're going to have three Inner Sanctums that can create the two Lucky Finds, and then we're also going to be playing three Payday that creates Lucky Finds. So basically, these Lucky Finds will be able to uh, be some buffs for our Victor. So we can basically have the Lucky Finds buff up our Victor, and so that then whenever we play the Hexcore upgrade, it will we'll have less buffs and like keywords to be able to choose from, and so we can get this Victor um, buffed up even faster. So that's really the, the plan of our deck. Also, the Lucky Finds are created cards, and then they also choose a buff that's also a created card. So we have um, really, uh, like really fast created cards. Lots of you know ways to level up Victor super fast with the seven plus created cards with this deck. So that's that's what we got combining here. We don't know if it will work, but hopefully it will. That should be pretty fun. We also have a Sumpworks map to be able to give Victor elusive, because the um, the Lucky Finds don't do elusive. So we'll have that one in there. Um, but then we want to be able to draw our Victor. So we have Golden Ambassador in here to be able to draw a champion, which our only champion is Victor, and give it plus two, plus two, which would be really nice for it to just start with that plus two, plus two. Uh, then we also have um, some ways to find Victor with Predict. We got Ancient Preparations, Aspiring Chronomancer, be able to go kind of dig for our Victor. Um, Urchins in here, being able to filter through the deck if we want to discard like Ignitions or something like that. To be able to go find Victor, we got Preservarium to draw some cards. So this is basically just all in Victor. <laughs> so if we play against Hush, we're going to be really sad. Hopefully we don't. But yeah, and then uh, also once once we give our Victor tons of keywords and it's real buff and everything like that, we can also attack and have all those keywords copied on over to our Mechanized Mimic and then make that the Mechanized Mimic um, really good as well. So that's that's the plan. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Lucky Victor. Um, I think so. I mean, yeah, because... So Payday counts as three spells as far as, like, Starlet Seer is concerned. So, yeah, I would think that Payday would create three um, turrets for Heimerdinger. And it should be two created cards for Victor. I would, I would think that's how this should work. All right, we got Victor in our opener. I'm gonna mulligan the mechanized mimic and just see if we can find like some lucky finds or just like some other cards that kind of go along with this Victor. Obviously we want to keep the rest of these though. Yeah, we, well, we only have the 23. Yeah, so we're not gonna always hit with Golden Ambassador because we only have 23 Shirima cards, but we do again have the predict cards that if we, you know, kind of like in the late game, we can play like a predict card, put a Shirima card on top, play golden ambassador hit victor so like we can we can kind of cheat a little bit for our golden ambassador but the yeah we're, we're gonna miss sometimes the golden ambassador it's gonna happen all right we'll start with the bot Worst case scenario, Gold Ambassador is a 4-mana 3-2. And then that's not the end of the world. Just the upside is huge, though. You know, like, the upside of, like, drawing our one important champion that our deck's built around, it also gets the plus 2, plus 2. The upside is worth playing. Night flowers upon my blade. Anything else? <laughs> okay, we got a payday. So I was, wasn't was really planning on casting Mystic Shot, but as you can see with this aggressive start, I think we should probably cast a Mystic Shot on one of these four ones. All right, Mystic Shot that. So this turn I can go like Victor plus Hexcore upgrade. Will bow, break maker. 
Yeah, this death ray champion spell should be pretty good for us. How? Rise, metal brethren. Wow. Sure, waste of mana. Death Ray hurts our Golden Ambassador chance because, you know, that puts that in the top three cards. Alright, let's go with this. Get Life Steal. Life Steal. What's up, Life Steal? All right. Well, um, so I'm, I'm planning on probably going Death Ray plus Mystic Shot. Maybe I'll just go Death Ray, Mystic Shot right now and kill the Nocturne. Then they can challenge with one of these. So they, I guess they challenge with that 4-1, but that doesn't kill. None of those kill my Victor unless they use another spell. That's true. I could just simply trade. See, this is gonna give them all. It's gonna give them all fearsome. You think hourglass not worth? I kind of think hourglass very worth. I think that life steal is great. Well, obviously even more worth now. I take eight, go to eight. And I'm shooting this sky shadow thing. It's only one more damage, but this thing has ephemeral. Yeah, the bone roll doesn't go away, but I don't get to create a create a card. Let's see. Hmm. I was of course hoping to find the the card. So we know the PNZ cards on top. The deal two because I wanted to draw that deal two and and have the Mystic Shot plus the deal two. I could have had both of those kill the this Nocturne together. But I guess we'll go with a payday. No nightfall there. Overwhelm, tough. It already has tough. So, overwhelm. I mean, the plus zero, plus twos, I guess that's kind of nice. shield. The plus two plus zero is kind of nice also though. Uh, they could be playing like Black Spear. I don't know. They got spells. Probably. Alright, so we'll be able to deal four. We'll be able to kill Nocturne. There we go. Yeah, that life steal on that Victor. Clutch. Alright, our deck's looking cool. Lucky Victor. Yeah, look for that. What are we playing against? Braum. Alright, we'll give this a try. 
Nope. So we got Victor. We got backup Victor, hopefully. Ooh, Inner Sanctum Victor. So I was planning on playing Urchin this turn, but I guess I'm going to go Inner Sanctum this turn. So I'm not going to cast Ignition. Because... So this is the plan. Sanctum this turn. Next turn we play Victor. Both Lucky Finds on the Victor. And we also play the Hexcore upgrade. Please don't kill my Victor. But I can't... Obviously I can't pass. Because they pass also. And then I just waste all this. Don't kill Victor. Don't kill Victor. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Show me your best. No. Good luck. No. Have fun. Don't kill Victor. Ooh, okay. Victor didn't die. Alright. Alright, buff. Challenger? Buff. Spell shield or quick attack? Mm. Both those are pretty good. It's gonna have challenger already. Yeah, spell shield. Alright. It's got tough. What else has it got? Yeah, quick attack kind of nice with the challenger, but I did. I was kind of worried about like frostbite spells, right? So like that's why I wanted to grab the spell shield to stop like a frostbite card. I do like Diana a lot. Yes, I do. Delphinus. Yes. Ooh, Fury. That's kind of cool, dude. This is sweet. <laughs> that inner sanctum Victor. This is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Oh, so many created cards, too. Like, leveling up the victor so fast. This isn't, like, the best deck or anything, but this is really cool. I like this. And so if something happens, we get to Ancient Hourglass. Ooh, that was a Brahms take card. Okay. That's me killing this Brahm. I think I want this payday. Anything else? <laughs> so no, I know I'm not setting up the whole predict allegiance thing. I'm not really worried about that right now. I wanted to get I wanted to get another blocker in to throw in front of the Scarthane stuff in to start with. Fearsome. More keywords. More keywords. We're getting closer and closer to lifesteal. Regen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, while Fearsome doesn't do anything, it takes it takes like that means that Hex Core upgrade can't hit Fearsome, right? So like so that's that's good there. It gets us closer to our other keywords. Well, I guess uh, make this trade. Mm, I guess I make the trade, but I don't wanna. I probably have to though. All right, take eight. No, I don't have to. Yeah, we're fine. Because 
Because there can't be, like, that many keywords left. Right? Like, we... Our next hex core upgrade is probably going to be lifesteal. Oh, mechanized mimic. What is up? Wait. Stop. You get in play first. You have augment. Yeah, so this, this hex core upgrade has to be either... Like, this has to be either elusive or lifesteal. Right? I already got Spell Shield. We do not have Quick Attack yet. Okay. Okay, so now it's got to give one of these. I guess the plus two, plus zero. We didn't get over... So I guess it could be, like, Overwhelm or Lifesteal. Or Elusive. What was it? Was it tough? I already had tough. Overwhelm. It was Overwhelm. Alright, so now we have 18, Quick Attack, Overwhelm, Fury, Regen, Tough, Challenger. And it's it's too many. It's off the page. There's too many. It's off the page. We got Augment. We got... Yeah, it looks like the Fearsome's off the page. <laughs> Victor's grocery list. <laughs> so the this mechanized mimic is about to get all these keywords. What's up? <laughs> That's a lot of keywords. <laughs> Alright, so that's 26 total overwhelm damage coming in. That's also a quick attack, fearsome, tough. Regen, Spell Shield, Challenger, which I guess I could have used the Challenger part. Oh well. I forgot about the Challenger. There's too many keywords. I forgot about that one. Alright, th that'll do. Lucky Victor. This deck makes me pretty happy. Twisted Fizz. All right, I could see this being problematic with all the elusives and everything. They elusive me and everything. All right, so the ambassador can find Fizz, or sorry, can find Victor, but it's a little slow. I want to just have Victor right away. I'm going to try mulliganing all of these, see if we can just draw Victor. I want to keep one Sanctum, because Sanctum plus Victor is really good. I'll keep the urchin for after the bot. This is gonna be fun. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. So we can discard ignition. I'm gonna try it. Come on, work. No. They had the Poro Cannon. Well, at least they had to discard to get excited. Yeah, he said this is a bad matchup. Yeah, we need... We definitely need, like, Victor with, like, Lifesteal. Pretty quickly. We did not have that. I'm trying it again. They only have three cards left. They can't have, like, that many... <sighs> I forgot about stress testing. But still, alright. Stress, so, stress testing, so, like, just trades one for one, right? Because, like, the stress testing doesn't do anything in their hand. So, just traded one for one. So that's, that's honestly not that bad. That stress testing can be more valuable later. Now that is bad. Suit up. That's a great draw for them. That is very bad. Hmm. 
So I just got more information before going with this. Yeah, Stravis, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Well, if they have another spell, I lose. But we're already in an incredibly difficult spot, so I'm going to try to do this. Okay, good game. Ooh, Twisted Fate, Aphelios. The bad thing about this deck is it is a Hush deck, which is not what you want to face with Victor. Victor, where are you? Yay. Night flowers upon my blade. So yeah, the suit up made me take some some chances. That last game. That's alright. It's our time. Witness perfection, meat bags. Inner sanctum. Hmm. Wrong landmark. Safely disengage. Join me if you want to live. Not sure if Preservarium or Chronomancer is better. I guess Preservarium. Only a fool would enter battle of I was gonna go for one of these. I guess it's Preservarium. Well, that's good that there's no box to post this turn. Well, that's... <laughs> well, it was good just a little bit ago, but now... I guess we need to have Aftershock in here, right? Do we not have Aftershock? Vill Temple's kind of impossible to beat. Hmm. I got Lifesteal. Just the amount of extra mana you get with Veil Temple, which maybe I, I probably should have just passed. Wow, and they still passed again. That was a really poor turn for them. I don't know what's in their hand, but they didn't play anything, and I got to spend three mana. That was a really poor turn for them. Like, what? Like, what are they doing? What do we get this time? Elusive? Oh, okay. No more hiding. I'm so weak. Don't touch it. Oh, spell shield. Spell shield's annoying. Oh, spell shield. You know, like, obviously my plan was just quicksand, right? Like, they do something, I, I just quicksand it. <sighs> Spell shield. That was a good bastion right there. All right, well, you got me. They got me. Oh. 
sucks. Looking for spell shield. Okay, we already got challenger. So quick attack and overwhelm. Let's go quick attack. Just a second. Puppy is barking at something or other. Pup, what are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing barking? What's going on? All right, hoping for spell shield because you know I'm, I'm worried about the six mana celestial card. Obliterate. Spell shield. Darn. Oh, okay. No obliterate. That's good. So, something that's kind of likely now is Hush. I do have... Chal does have Challenger, though. So, if we go here... We don't have to worry as much about Hush. Like, they can, they can Hush the Mimic and kill the Mimic. But I'm, I'm fine with... If they want to use Hush to kill Mimic, I'm fine with that. Um... Yeah, that looks, looks like they're gonna use Hush over there, which, you know, I'm, I'm good with that, because that's not hushing my victor. I don't even know if this is, like, because I'm not killing a champion with that, but it's just... It's such a good, efficient time to use that card. Yes, of course. On my side, I'm glad they didn't Bastion to start with. Like, Bastion, then attack. Alright, All right, bye, puppy. Yeah, Quicksand's good. Okay, Overwhelm. Also good. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty sparkle fly. And I do have Ride Negation available now in case something weird happens. Which I just want to keep the Ride Negation available. because somebody else is walking the dog outside. It's just being a doggo. Okay, sorry about that. Spell shield. Nope, regen. Nothing wrong with regen. I'm attacking with that 2-1. Cool. Alright, we've gotten two Hush out of their hand. And neither one has Hushed Victor. I'll count that as a win.
You get like an inner sanctum or something. I'll just skip. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Maybe I should play Ballistic Bot to create another ignition, but okay, there we go. My plan is like another Chronomancer plus Ambassador this turn. Okay, I should should have taken quick scene. It's like Victor plus three plus zero, and then Victor plus six plus zero. I don't know why that's not just like Victor plus nine plus zero. Why is why is that? Um, destroy a mana gem. Well. I mean, so destroy a mana gem doesn't matter, but I kind of need to cover one of these things up anyway, but oh well, I guess I'll just destroy a mana gem. Spell shield? What did we get this time? Fearsome? I think fearsome. All right, new victor, just in case. Yeah, that's true. There was no buggy thing in the middle from that right. That's good. Are you going to be good, puppy? I'm probably just supposed to attack. So they could go, what, like Twisted Fate Gold Card. They can hush the victor and then we start over. But they've already played two hush. <laughs> I guess they just have all three hush. <laughs> Well, we start over. With them at one. No real reason to spend mana on the ignition if they have something that heals their nexus. They're going to be able to heal the Nexus in response anyway. Like, there are things that heal the Nexus or Burst Speed. Obviously, I'm going to Thermal Junk Beam this Aphelios. Alright, what do we want? I think I want a Mystic Shot. They're at 2 life. Mystic Shot sounds good. From all the new decks that we've tested, what's my favorite right now? Right now, it's this cool Lucky lucky Fine Victor deck. <laughs> um, but I guess probably my favorite is probably the Ascended Sun Disc deck that we played yesterday. That's just all Shurima and, and like just the... That's probably my favorite right now of, of uh, play all the new Shurima cards. That one's probably my favorite. think it's luck okay there we go they had all three hush they did not really have their champions though but they had all three hush they could not stop victor 
So it was good. Like, both Mechanized Mimics ate a Hush for us. And so I think that that was pretty good of, like, having those eat the Hush so Victor didn't. We never got Spell Shield on a Victor either. All right, back to Aphelios, the version with Diana and Shadow Isles, which I think is really, really good, because I think Diana is amazing. I think Shadow Isles adds a lot, so like they're going to be like atrocitying and stuff like that. I kind of want to keep all of this. The Golden Ambassador only really helps if we get rid of another Victor, but maybe we have to mulligan the Golden Ambassador and see if we find like some lucky finds. Okay, Thermo. Payday. Once I start papers, now faces. Can you improve perfection? All right. Um. Actually, I'll just play this. Could play the Preservarium, but I, I kind of want to be able to play Payday and Hexcore upgrade next turn after the Victor. Oh, they're going to have a Felios. Well, I guess I have to kill a Felios. Lame. I don't want to spend my mana killing a Felios, but we got to. And a Felios is busted. <laughs> Still gets the two for one. Luminari, rise. Okay. All right, Victor. Give Victor some keywords. Keyword time. Overwhelm, quick attack, and something that doesn't matter. We'll do quick attack. Overwhelm, quick attack, and something doesn't matter. We'll do overwhelm. Sorry. <laughs> I do that because my camera's right in the middle of the screen, so I can't see like that middle one originally. How is it still only three out of seven? I thought those would be like two spells, but I guess not. Now we just do a hex core upgrade because then we'll have these for next turn still. No, that was the elusive. I didn't want to give it elusive yet because we had this to give it elusive. All right, so we're not playing that. Do I play the mechanized mimic? Four, five, six. I don't think so. Oh, I should have done Payday first. Payday could have taken Fearsome. I should have done Payday first. Basically keeping this ride negation available. Closer to lifesteal, which is definitely one that we want. Don't get to ride a negation and quicksand. Lifesteal? Okay, we'll take spell shield. 
Also good, that means that I probably don't need to keep right Indigation available if we have the Spell Shield. That means I can maybe play something else. Yep. Definitely have to worry about atrocity. I think I skip all of these, honestly. Like, Inner Sanctum, I won't be able to have it for, like, the next turn whenever I attack. It's going to be a little slow. I think I skip them all. Life steal. Life steal. All right, perfect. Life steal. It's not lethal, but it does put us back to 19. Why do they have so many hushes? So it's a 2 7. Why does it have to be that many hushes? Yeah, so I still had I still had quicksand to protect me from atrocity just a little bit ago. Please don't have Pell Cascade. Just <sighs> come on. Man, Victor would be so good if your opponents just couldn't have Hush. <laughs> Hush is so mean when you're playing Victor. Okay, got a new Victor. <laughs> and like. It's like, like we're even getting spell shield to stop the first hush. It's like, our last opponent had three hushes. This opponent had two hushes. Like, what is, what is this? I don't, is this Inner Sanctum too slow again? Maybe not. So I can I can give like one of these elusives and then elusive and then block this A5 with that. I can also block with this mimic. No, it's not worth block. I guess I guess it's worth doing the Sumpworks map thing. Because I, I could block with a mimic and then thermogenic beam. And so this thing's gone for good. But that's pretty rough. Wait, how, do, how does this thing work? If they block, like the quick attack, it dies, but then it'll come back and kill my thing? Is it like Trindamir? I, mean, I guess I can't, I guess I have to attack anyway, though. 
Yeah, it is like Trindamir, so it's just gonna trade. Alright, so maybe I guess I I guess if that's the case, I probably should have just blocked with the mimic and then saved. Yeah, invoke's pretty rough. It was the two hush, right? Like that's that's what won this game for my opponent was the double hush. They don't have that, you know, that second hush. We're good. Okay, so right now it has tough and overwhelm. Let's give it challenger. So overwhelm challengers, not bad. Yes, and now this will give it spell shield. No, nope. so it already has tough and overwhelm, so we'll go quick attack. Now this one spell shield. Well, elusive. So I have this in case of atrocity, I have that, but Spell Shield would have been really nice. I mean if I kill this it just still it still just stays alive, so no reason for that card right now. Because it would just reheal. It's a terrible draw. It's another terrible draw. Another ter terrible thing, like that doesn't that doesn't help. Mystic shot. These don't help. My only chance of winning this game is Mystic shot. Okay, well, I guess I need to attack first. So we did get to beat Targon one time. Even through a triple hush, we had the mimics that, that really helped with that. But, um, yeah, T Targon's pretty rough. The, yeah, the Veil Temple is the, the hush. You know, like, that's kind of the problem with going lucky finds with Victor is hush. But what I have to say, though, is this still did really well. Honestly, better than I was expecting. Um, it really did. Like, this this was really cool. I, I really liked the Inner Sanctum and the Payday with Victor. It was really powerful. You know, like, we still went three and two. And, you know, like that, that even that last game, like there was that time that we attacked with that victor that if they don't have both hush, like we we're going to win that game. But they ended up, you know, having two hush in hand because, um, you know, their life's great. But yeah, I, I have to really, yeah, I have to say that I was really impressed with the power of victor and lucky find. So I liked this deck, lucky victor. This was really fun to play. This was, this was a good one. Just try to dodge hush a little better than I did. My opponents had lots and lots of hushes. Try to dodge it more. Like even if they just like even if like those opponents would just have like one hush. 
we would have been fine. All right, but there we go. So that's that's Lucky Victor. That was a lot of fun. And we did, like, it wasn't that difficult finding Victor. Um, you know, I liked the Gold Ambassador. I liked a lot of the stuff that we had here. Like, the, the Predict cards were good. Um, yeah, this this deck went really well. Yeah, this was, this was a, definitely a very fun Victor deck. So if you enjoy playing Victor decks, you enjoy getting all sorts of keywords and making things super big, definitely give this a try. This is one of my favorite Victor decks that we have played before. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck. If you try it out yourself, I'd love to hear about it or just, you know, even watching it and everything. How'd y'all like this deck? Y'all know, I love seeing those comments. All right, but that's it here for Lucky Victor. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.